I'm out here feeding the sheepies on their new paddock. Finally got some green grass growing through here. So we moved them for maybe the third time in the last couple months. So trying to move them around, get some of this manure spread around a little bit more. I'll tell you, everything's looking a lot better than it did when we started. So this grass right here has always grown pretty good. It's mostly fescue, but we've got a couple of little uh, rose bushes and other weeds growing in here, but a lot of foliage, a lot of different things for them to munch on. So that was their winter paddock. We kind of made that a sacrifice paddock, but it's already started growing back. It was bare soil pretty much. And uh, there's some hay, but they're doing pretty good right here. Let me show you a little bit of the garden right quick. We've got a few things. Well, my wife has a few things planted. Um, so this is the, I don't know what side of the house this car. I guess it would be the east side because that's where the, the sun rises. So our wild geese had their babies the other day. They got six new little babies. And so they've been hanging out and we feed them every once in a while. But so yeah, got all kinds of new new birth going on over here. Right now the mower. Yummy. It's a bunch of sheep backs. I don't see no heads because everybody's eating. Everybody's eating. All right. Well, move number, I don't know how many this year already. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is number six for this year. I know we're kind of behind a little bit, but moving them at all is better than not moving them ever. So got them on some new stuff over here. This is new growth from last year. Maybe say hi to the camera. They got a bunch of different mm, invasive stuff, a little bit of weeds, a little bit of trees, some fescue. Um, trying to sow some some more foliage for them this year, but I uh, haven't really got around to it because seeds are expensive. Hey, why you so muddy, Homer? Why you make a mess? All right, so I'm going to move him over here. This is all created by these pigs. This used to be a hot mess. It had a lot of weeds, and now it's like all grass, fescue, a couple trees. This is our neighbor's property. Eventually, hopefully, I'll be able to move some of the animals over there. I'm going to talk to them about that. But, yeah, we're about to move these piggies over here into this wood line for the summer. I got to get their waters going. Got to get their waters fixed. I mean, do you like your new pot place over here? No, you like all this grass. Is it good? Is it good? You nibbling on it. Are you nibbling on it? So, we finally moved the goaty goats onto a new spot. So, we'll have them clearing up all this right here. <clears throat> this is a side road, easement road on our property to the next property over. So I'm going to have them clear this out so I don't have to weed eat it. Don't choke on it. <laughs> Ain't no goody goats. By the way, we got some new goody goats on the farm. New babies. four days and went ahead and moved the goaty goats over to some new stuff they're gonna clear all this stuff out for us we've got a whole little easement road on this side right here of the house so they're gonna clear all this good stuff out they love it poison oak all kinds of stuff on there so yeah so they're loving it you can see them just hiding away over here going crazy they've been getting out of their pen because they've been hungry so like you know what it's time that we uh move them to a new spot well my wife said that but so we've moved them today i'm moving the sheep tomorrow to a new spot so 
I'll add that to the video as well. But I just love this sound. Goaties just going crazy over the, the grub. They like all the junk stuff. That was so we'll see how long it takes them to clear this eventually we'd like to start a little land clearing business with the goats so we need to see how long it's going to take them to clear a spot like this it's sweating it's only seven it's not even eight o'clock yet i don't think maybe eight thirty this is uh, where the goats were last, and it's starting to grow back. You see how thick it is? Well, I put the sheep on a section yesterday, and this is their new spot again. New angle, different angle. And you can see how the goat stuff is growing up again. But let me show you what I did over here. Put them in this area, and they didn't eat this, this hole right here, but they pretty much cleared out this entire spot. And that's like in one day. So they like being in the woods. They like the foliage. <sighs> it is hot out here, but they were on this spot a little too long. You can see it's kind of dried out. You can see the, the line there where they were, but now we got them on a new spot. Nice and green, thick, a lot of junk for them to eat. So I'm gonna let them sit there for a couple days and then we'll move them again. I think the one, one of the hardest things about uh, homesteading and raising animals is just getting out and doing stuff like uh, it's really easy just to sit in there in the air condition this morning um, it was nice until the Sun came out it was really cool out here now it's already I can feel the Sun beating down on my on my back just kind of hanging out on me but um, I feel good that I got out here and did this I know that they got fresh grass I got them a whole bucket of water over here um, I got them a new trough that holds about 10 gallons so I'm gonna fill their water up and they'll sit here and eat grass all day so there's a lot i gotta do i gotta rebuild their shelter because it's hard to move and i'm getting older and i don't like moving heavy stuff and then i uh, also gotta work on the goats over here um, they need some new um, things in their goat area i need to rebuild some of their shelters and structures and build them some little obstacle courses you know some things for them to have fun on and um that sun is super bright this morning. I feel like it's brighter and brighter every year, like it's getting closer to the earth. But anyways, um, got these sheep moved. Um, getting ready to take Ashton to Concord Mills here in a little bit, and then um, get home, work on my deck a little bit, and uh, yeah, call it a day.